This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use count distinct and level of detail calculations to add context to titles. Now, what does this mean? So if you notice here in my title, I've got sales by subcategory for multiple states. That's because I have three selected. If I change this to have one selected, it's just going to tell me which state I have selected. But then if I also click all, then it's going to give me all states. The reason why we're doing this is because if I go into my sheet and in fact, I can do it from here. So if I go into here and edit this title and I add in here state, whenever I have all states, it's going to click all. But then if I only select four states, it's then going to try and list each state, which doesn't look very appealing. So we want to have it say multiple states. So how do we do this? First thing we need to do is set up our chart. So subcategory by sales and then sort. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to right click on state and show filter so that we have that in our pocket at the side. So the first thing is we're going to change this to go sub subcategory sales by and then we want to add state in. So now once we do this, you can see it's going to say all of the 46 plus those three states. And again, if I change it, it's just going to keep adding them to the list. We don't want that. So let's create a new calculated field. So we're just going to call this count distinct of state for titles. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to look at if there's only ever one state selected. So I'm just going to click this one state. That's fine when we only have one state selected because Tableau automatically gives you that one state. But we're just going to make sure that we've got that in our calculation anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is if the count distinct of state equals one then you want the state else all states and okay so I'm going to show you in fact let me just wrap this in a minimum here so the first thing I'm going to show you is how this is going to work so if we put in subcategory on here and then we again show our filter and we put the count distinct on here and we put it onto label. So currently we have all the states selected, which is fine. But now if I just select Alabama, it's going to show Alabama. But then if I select Arizona as well, it's then going to hit um, Arizona and Alabama under all states. And it's not right. We want that to say multiple states. But then we also need to look out for this section here when we've got the individual subcategories that only have the one of the states that we selected. So let's edit this. So we're going to make this into a level of detail calculation and we're going to use the exclude option. So we want to exclude subcategory for the count distinct of state. And then we're just going to wrap that in a max. Okay, so now when I do it, this will now change to all states because there's still only two selected. So we need to add another statement in here. So if we add an else if, I'm going to copy this one because we want to use that again. But then we want to say, um, what is the maximum number of states? So this time we want to use the less than, and then you just want to do the count distinct of state inside the curly brackets which gives you a fixed which comes above my state filter and then we're just going to wrap that in a max and then if the first section is less than the total number of states then you want to say multi multiple states else all states so now if I hit OK this is now going to say multiple states instead. So no matter how many times I select 
a new state, it's going, always going to say multiple. And when I hit all, it'll say all states. And if I hit one, it's just going to give me back that one state. So how does this work in our titles? So now, again, same thing. If I hit multiple states, we haven't added it in to our title. So I'm just going to show you this. So if we add, we need to add it to our detail first. So let's add count distinct of the state titles to the detail. And now when we go into our title, we can add it in and hit OK. Now it's going to say multiple states until I select one, one state or all states.